and chipset. And the question would be, why would you put two of these together? There are many benefits. One, to really talk about, you talk about turbo. It's all about managing the thermal. Imagine that you could do turbo between the CPU and the graphics. And you could see that sometime one thing is operating at full steam, and the other time the other one is operating at full steam. This is going to give us great opportunities to get the best of the graphics and the best of the CPU. We're going to move on. And on 32 nanometer, we're going to have a second generation top. This one we're going to move monolithic. We're going to improve significantly all the parameters you could think about, from CPU to graphics to adding new instructions and to way better manage. And this is an example of the functionality you already see on extremely early uh, material of Sandy Bridge just getting out of our factories into the labs, to the daily demand. So we expect great new cool products coming out from the Intel in the same boring year after year coming out new technologies. This is all to create these extremely fashionable, nice looking devices. But doing silicon and microprocessors is not sufficient to deliver these professional, cool-looking things. There's a lot of other technologies that are developed in our lab to help our OEM customers and the developers to do the coolest, nicest-looking things. We are doing computational fluid dynamic simulations of the boxes. And it's all about thermals. What we talked about the fact that you could do turbo. The turbo is very much dependent how good the thermal design of the platform is. The better it is, the better the turbo could get. And you could see over here comparison that we did on our lab. Using the Core i7, we could get at 45 watts to a higher performance, we could get on a previous generation quad core Xeon products just a year or two earlier. There are many other things we do. We reduce the size of the packages. We reduce the power of the devices, going from 45 watts to 35 watts, going to 25 watts. We're going to go from three packages to two packages when we go to r and and we're going to have great looking products. It's amazing what you can do when you have an extremely low power microprocessor. This is a Dell Attitude, 16 inch. Uh, Used to be the 16-inch high-performance product would be very thick. This is one extremely thin. Uh, it has a dual core, called to duo inside. A very nice design. We are developing concept problems. This is the way we are trying to ignite the innovation of the industry to help you, the developers, come up with nicer cooler looking devices. The one at the top left is the one I like the most. You know, unlike AIG, I have to fly coach. I don't have a private jet. And if you fly, I presume some of you do fly coach, at least the Intel guys. And when you do email, and then the guy in front of you do it climb. 